Hello everyone, welcome back. We're ready for section 9.3, intercepts of lines. So we need to know what an intercept is. An intercept is kind of like the word intersects because it is where a line intersects the axis. So crosses the axis, similar to intersects, that is an intercept. Kind of like in football when you might see hear somebody say, oh, they just intercepted the ball. Well, the person who intercepted it crossed the path of the person who was supposed to get it and caught it instead. So it's kind of like they intersected where the other person was supposed to catch it and got there first. Um, so the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis and the x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. So here in my drawing, I have a y-intercept it crosses the y-axis right there at 0, 5. And I have an x-intercept because it crosses the x-axis down there at negative 3, 0. The y-intercept is always going to be 0, comma, something. So I just have the blank because it's going to be a different number depending on what your line is. But it's always going to be 0, comma, something. And the x-intercept is always going to be something, comma, zero. I have over here a little recall. Recall it goes x comma y. So the y-intercept is where the x is zero and the x-intercept is where the y is zero. And that leads us to our steps. To solve for the y-intercept, you plug in a zero for the x and solve. And to solve for the x-intercept, you plug in a zero for the y and solve. So let's do that a couple times. Um, for our y-intercept, I usually do the y-intercept first. You can do them in either order. In fact, in the examples below, uh, they're going to ask you to do the x-intercept first. But again, you can do either one first. Doesn't matter. If you do the y-intercept first here, you're going to plug a 0 in for the x. It's going to be 0, comma something. So I'm going to say y equals negative 3 times 0 plus 6. So y equals 0 plus 6. y equals 6. So that y-intercept is at 0, 6. For the x-intercept, I it's usually a little harder. You put a 0 in for the y. So it's going to say 0 I'm sorry, let me write this first. It's going to be something comma zero. And then I'm going to put uh, zero in for the y, negative 3x plus 6. So I have to subtract the 6 and then divide by the negative 3. Dividing a negative by a negative gives you a positive, so x is 2. So that gives me a 2, 0 for my x-intercept. Oops, I kind of missed that top point. Let me just start on the point. Makes it a little bit straighter. There we go. Um, let's do some down here. So see, they asked for the x-intercept first, but you still could find them in any order. Um, so for the x-intercept, I'm going to plug a 0 in for the y. So 0 equals 2x plus 3. So I will subtract the 3. It gives you negative 3 equals 2x. Divide by the 2, and we're going to get a fraction here. It's going to be negative 3 over 2. And uh, you can either leave that as negative 3 over 2, or you can write it as negative 1 and a half or negative 1.5, whichever way you'd like to do that. So that is the x, and of course the y is 0. And then here we'll have a 0, comma, something. So then we'll put a 0 in for the x, so y equals 2 times 0 plus 3. So y equals 0 plus 3, y equals 3. And you may notice a shortcut or a pattern with that. We'll do one more together, and then I'll let you in on that secret in case you haven't picked it up so far. 
Uh, so the x-intercept here, we will plug in a 0 for the y. So 0 equals 3x minus 4. Add the 4 and divide by the 3. So again, we have a fraction 4 thirds. And again, you can leave that as 4 thirds. You can write 1 and 1 third. You can write 1.333. So that goes here. Now we have a 0, and then we'll have a 0, comma, something. So we'll put in a 0 now for the x. So y equals 3 times 0 minus 4. So y equals 0 minus 4. y equals negative 4. And I don't know if you see the uh, pattern or the shortcut. <coughs> In each of our cases, we've done three so far. In each of our cases, the y-intercept has been the same number that is there at the end. Here's the 3, here's the 3. Here's the minus 4, here's the minus 4. That holds true all the time. So any time you have an equation that is in the form of y equals mx plus b, y equals a number times x plus another number, your y-intercept is always going to be that last number. So if you remember that and you have it in that format, it's kind of a shortcut for the y-intercept. So let's use that shortcut down here in number 10. The y-intercept is going to be 0, comma, Three. So now we really only have to work for the x-intercept where we put a 0 in for the y. So 0 equals negative x plus 3. So subtract the 3. And so you have negative 3 equals negative x, but we want positive x, so we change them both. Positive x is positive 3. All right, go ahead and pause the video and try five, six, seven, and eight there. All right, hopefully this is what you got. I did show the work in case you did not get those. That's all for this video. Until next time, have a great day.